Hello Year 8s, it's Mr Omara here. I'm just going to talk you through some basics of programming. I know some of you know this, but this video is for those of you who are either not here last year or who could do with a refresher. Uh, as you can see, I have a robot here in the video. This is Sunny. Sunny has his actuators um, plugged into ports A and B, and Sunny has two sensors. He has a... Um, a distant sensor here which is bouncing a sound wave off and reading it on the way back and that's plugged into port 4 and he has a touch sensor here plugged into port 1. So I've got Sonny plugged into my computer so we'll see I'm just going to put him over to the side there um, and let's have a look at the software. So I'm going to open a new project by pressing on that plus. Uh, now that actually, oh, there we go, there it is and it's called project. I believe, yep, so I'm going to in fact call this uh, Friday because that's the day that I'm building this. I'm going to close this window over here where you can write notes. Oh, actually that's just making it bigger, so I'll click on this one so that I've got a nice big space to work on there. So this first thing that you can see here is basically this is the start of the program and right now it does nothing. But instead of writing lines of code, you're actually moving up blocks of code and I'll show you how that's done. By the way, if you look down in the bottom right hand corner, you'll see that Sunny is connected. How much space Sunny's got and how Sunny is connected. These buttons we're coming back to our download and download and run and run selected. But we'll be using download later on, but I'm going to build a short program first. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab one of these blocks. They're in categories. The first one is action, the second one is flow control, and then sensor. The other three have things, but we're not going to be using them in this tutorial. So I'm going to grab move steering, even though the steering I want to do is moving straight forward. So I lift it up. As soon as I click on it, it starts moving that around, and I put it up here there we go, so that's the first bit of code. Now that tells me that it's on B and C. Now let's just have a quick look at my robot. Uh, he's on A and B. So in actual fact, the simplest thing for me to do is to rewire my robot. I could change the code, but given that it's expecting B and C, I'm just going to use B and C and rewire the robot. So that's fine. Now, it's basically saying the, end, the actuators will be off on continuously, on for a number of seconds, on for a number of degrees, and by degrees it means, you know, 45 degrees, oh, sorry, 90 degrees, 45 degrees, 180 degrees. So you can do very fine um, turns with these. These are servo motors in actual fact, or four rotations. And rotations are how many times they go round. So that's 360 degrees is one rotation. So I'm actually going to get this to go for, let's say, one second. Um, actually, no, so in seconds. I'm not going to steer it. If I wanted to move it, you see that how that arrow is moving? Well, I'm just going to let it go straight ahead. I'm going to put it on 75% power. I, I could put it on 100% power. It will use more of the battery. And this is a pretty stable robot, but an upright robot could easily tip um, if you're trying to turn at full speed. So it's good to be able to control your speed. And let's say that it's going to go for three seconds. So this is all well and good. And the final one is, does it break at the end? And it says true. And I'm actually going to say false. I don't want it to break at the end. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to um, load this onto Sunny. So that's my program. I click down here on download. And you might not have heard that, but Sunny just beeped at me. And that's letting me know how that's done. OK, so here I am with Sunny. I'm going to unplug Sonny, put him on the floor, I'll get, get him free of all of his cables, there we go, face him in the right direction. Now I press the orange button, there it is, uh, it says software files, good, there's the program Friday, it'll be upside down, I'll turn that around so that you can see it, there's the program Friday, and see that run symbol there. Right, Sonny's ready to go. There you go, Sonny did exactly what I expected him to do. Okay, so as we saw, Sonny happily went forward for the three seconds that we asked him to. What I'm now going to get him to do is turn. So I grab actually the same block again, and I'm going to use that same block of code a second time.
Uh, this time I'm actually going to have him on for rotations. I'm going to have him on for two rotations, and this time I'm going to turn. Now I'm going to turn, actually you know what, I'm going to turn 100%. I'm going to leave him on 75% of power because Sunny, Sunny's actually a pretty stable robot. Uh, and I'm going to have him go for two rotations. At the end, I'm going to have him coasting rather than braking. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to give him another instruction at the end here. And I'm going to bring him home, basically. So I'm setting him on for time. So I, don't know, th I think I said three seconds. Um... Now, let me just check. Yeah, that's... No, no, actually, I've got the wrong code, so I'll click on that and hit Backspace to get rid of it. There we go. And pop it up here. There we go. So I'm going to set him for seconds. Going straight ahead again, because he's going to be coming straight back to me. That's the same, that's the same. Three seconds. It's actually based exactly the same block of code as here. And I'm going to break him at the end this time. Okay. So there's my new code for Sunny. So now, I'm going to load it into Sunny. Now I just heard that beep, I don't know if you did, and I'll give him another go. Okay, here's Sonny ready to run in the second version of his code. Let's see, I'm expecting him to go straight ahead, turn around and then come home. Okay, pretty happy with that.